The example we have here is called the data mining association rule. Now, the thing I want to create has a database I've given you. There's a backup file you got to import in the SQL server. To import, right click on the database and select the uh, restore database option from the options given to you. The next thing you got to do is to select device from this window you see here. Then click on the button with three dots on it and hit the add button in the window that opens. After you click on add, all you have to do to import it is click on your backup file in the window that opens. Do it with me so we can go forward together. All you have to do is importing this database into the SQL server just like I did. Well, as I said before, our database is called the Data Mining Association Rule. We just have to click on it and click OK. These are its tables. There's an order info and an order detail. Pay close attention here. This order table is our master table. I have the order number and the customer key. It tells me what specific customer this purchase is for and where his geographical location is, what income he has and whether it's high or low. All right, I have an order details here telling me what items a specific purchase includes. Now let's hit select on the order details. For example, this order you see, order 1313, had three items. Another order might have one or two items. These are bicycle parts. Well, up to here, We've been in the SQL server discussing data, which means we've reviewed the first two stages of creating a data mining project. We figured out what database we're gonna use, what tables it has, what fields there are in each table, and what every field is good for. Obviously, these two stages won't be as easy in big projects. Sometimes you'll have to discuss the data and the relationships between them for weeks to get a good understanding of the business and its data. In the next stage, we'll go to the Visual Studio environment and continue the rest of the work there.